Hello, my name is David Borden, and I'm an artist living here in Austin, Texas. I'd like to talk to you today about some of my newest paintings. Uh, but first, before I get to that, I want to tell you about how I got there and the influences behind it. So, uh, my, one of my favorite artists is Richard Diebenkorn, and this book is fantastic if you're interested in um, looking at more of his work. And I want to show you the first painting I ever saw of his that got me excited about Diebenkorn. That's this one. It's a real simple painting of a pair of scissors, but when you really look at it, it's uh, amazing. The brush strokes, the way one color bleeds into the next, um, the contours, everything about it is uh, truly, truly masterful. And I thought, wow, if, if you can make something that exciting out of something so simple, I wanna be able to do that. So I, uh, it got me, uh, looking at more of his work, and I really, really enjoyed looking at his um, abstract uh, landscapes, like this one. Uh, I had this as a screensaver for a long time. I love the way he uh, takes a landscape and not only captures the landscape, but captures it in a way where it's it's very abstract, and again, there's those brush strokes, and the way that the color works is truly, truly amazing. So, um, People often say to me, I think your paintings uh, are uh, impressionistic. And I think, um, I don't think they are really. I think my paintings are more uh, postmodern, more of this melding of realism and abstraction. And I find that really fascinating. Um, along those lines, um, I also like David Hockney. And uh, the painting behind you that sparked this whole a series that I'm working on right now, the winter series, came from a David Hockney painting that is um, not his typical painting. It's not the swimming pools and the California sunsets, that kind of thing. Uh, it was a gloomy painting, like this one behind you. And I took that as my inspiration to do this one, to kind of see what was he doing and how did he get there. And what really drew me in were these really strong vertical and horizontal lines you see running through the painting. It really reminded me of uh, Texas and Texas landscapes, uh, especially suburban landscapes. Um, I also liked the way he had the figures uh, interacting. They were um, all together in groups, but they were also their own individuals. And they again play with this horizontal, horizontal and verticalness of the vertical uh, forms uh, that are poles and trees and houses and fences uh, and the, the horizontal uh, roads, again, trees and houses and things and how they work horizontally as well. Um, so that was what sparked this. Um, I um, moved on to do uh, a more quintessential Texas uh, painting. This is Winter Two. And it is uh, taken from the landscape of Florence, Texas, which is just up the street. Uh, this is the, the highway that runs through it and uh, some of the buildings um, on that street. And again, you can see that horizontal and vertical intersection going on that I was really trying to work with. Um, the houses, very sort of um, Texas small town. And then I put in the figures, this little trio here in the front. I have two guys working on an old-fashioned lawnmower and a woman walking straight towards you. And uh, I wanted them to be doing different things, but somehow it all being related. And again, I stuck um, a lone figure in the background, but instead of making them muted like the background, I painted them a bright... Um, <laughs> do you hear my cat? My cat has come in to tell me I'm not paying him enough attention. Uh, so the the figure in the background is painted with uh, a cadmium red uh, and I really liked that and I brought that back into the sign up here this weird abstract sign uh, right that's what signs really say they're not um, no matter what they say on the sign they're really just a pointer come here look at this uh, and I really wanted to make that statement with these paintings is is there's this abstraction and this realism and the symbolism and how they all work together so uh, my daughter, Ruby, really liked those two paintings so much, she said she wanted one for herself. 
So I um, did winter three, but she said she didn't like the gloominess of the other ones, and so she wanted a brighter sky. So that's what we've got here. It's a bright summer, summer, sorry, a bright winter sky. Um, and it's very suburban Texas. If you've lived in the suburbs in Texas, especially in a new neighborhood that's just being built, this is what it looks like. Houses in the distance, large vacant spaces, uh, sidewalks that you think, who walks on that sidewalk? Where is that? Uh, this one is also about uh, the people who live in the suburbs. So we've got this guy here in the foreground who is triple tasking. He's, he's very efficient. He's jogging, he's checking his phone, and he's taking the baby for a stroll. And uh, the three of them are all together, like our three threesome from the previous paintings, but they're all doing something different. They're really not engaged with each other. Whereas in the middle of the painting, we have a couple having a picnic, and uh, they are deeply engaged with each other. And there's even a TV at their picnic. Instead of a picnic basket, they have a TV, but they're not watching it. They're not paying any attention to it. And this cat over here is noticed and is going to come and join um, join their little group. So it's another threesome. We've got the threesome of the people in the TV and then the threesome of the people in the cat. And then, of course, when you pull it all together, you have a bigger trio. And what I'm trying to get to here is this isolation people doing their own thing, but in the middle of it all, we can hang out and um, enjoy each other. The fourth winter painting is not here, it's gone. So I'm gonna show you the last that one that I've got right now. This is winter five. Um, and in this one, uh, you may, if you live in the Austin area or have been through Austin, you know that Austin is under lots of construction. Uh, there's cranes everywhere, there's building shells everywhere, everything's torn up. Uh, and um, but, and this is from an area in Austin called the Highland area. Um, and long ago that was farm farmland. And that's why when I was painting this, this, this goat inserted itself. Uh, goats are ubiquitous in Texas. And um, as I was painting the goat, I decided to do a lot more detail. There's much more detail in those previous paintings. Those other ones, the people are meant to be blank slates. They are meant to represent just people in general who are living in these places. Those of you who know my work know I'm also a portrait artist, uh, but I didn't want to do specific faces on those people, but keep them uh, blank. So anyway, this goat decided to insinuate himself in this painting, just like my cat is trying to insinuate himself in this video. And, uh, and he told me that we needed more detail in this painting. So uh, that's where he comes from. So we've got this industrial uh, building scene going on, lots of construction, but this goat from a previous time has, has shown up. The, uh, in the background, there's a busker playing the guitar. It's Austin, you have to have a busker. Someone has to be playing the guitar if it's Austin. And then over here, we have the three women who are, uh, have more detail than any of the other figures I've done in any of the other paintings. Again, you see the, the vertical and the horizontal play here, um, what's going on. And the, the three figures, the women, are based on a Bruegel painting called Haymakers. And after the work day is done, these three women are leaving the fields. Um, and <laughs> ah, the cat is climbing on me. And so... Oh. So um, um, this, is, this is a takeoff of the haymakers, and these women are uh, leaving work. They've been at their, at their job, and they're walking through this scene of building and tear down, and uh, I thought that was an interesting statement, along with the pigeons that are flying through the landscape. So those are the, the winter paintings I've got done. Uh, I plan that when spring comes uh, to do some spring paintings. Uh, if you're familiar with Texas uh, weather, you know, spring is very short. It's about two months, maybe. Then I'll be on to summer paintings. Uh, and that'll be a long stretch there because summer lasts forever. Uh, and then fall paintings. Um, and that'll conclude this series of paintings. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you saw something you like, you want to see it up close, just send me an email and we can connect uh, and um, you can come visit me in my studio. And 
that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.